What up guys and welcome back. Do you ever feel frustrated playing against Deathblades in PvP? Or maybe you're a Deathblade player yourself and you're looking for your own weaknesses. Well, I'm Nico Tulo and I'm a pretty high rated blade player on the Russian server. In today's guide I will share some blade counter strategies for the upcoming Lost Ark release in February. First, let's understand blade abilities by addressing the tier 2 super armors first. Tier 2, by the way, means it's immune to knockups and staggers. Contrary to popular belief, in most blade meta builds, she only uses around two baseline ability super armors, and obviously her identity. I'll show you all popular super armor abilities, starting with Upper Slash. This ability is our lowest cooldown tier 2 and comes with a knockup as well. Incredibly strong but stationary combo and defensive option. At the same time, the blade can't cancel this ability unless she has spacebar available, making her a stationary target for hard CC. Second most commonly used tier 2 is Axel or Dark Axel, which is a super armor engage and disengage tool, which you will find quite frustrating to deal with since it's fast and protected. The only downside to this ability is that the length is always the same, and while you're mid-air, you can't dash out of it. If you can predict the blade using it, she can't avoid getting hard CC'd. And now for not so common super armor abilities. First, Turning Slash, which is a low mobility moving super armor. This is not used that often, but I think this is a great ability for like low level blade players. This ability can only be cancelled with a spacebar as well. So again, RCC destroys this very predictable approach. And the last tier 2 super armor is even less common and is called Polestar. This one is not tier 2 protected in the very first few frames of the ability when your character is rising up. On the rising part it also has a very small knockup hitbox and on the part where you come back down it has actually a very big lingering knockup as well. This ability is not cancelable while mid-air like most abilities that are mid-air. So again very stationary but very strong when the blade is engaged by an unprotected melee class. Quick shot run of the other abilities. First, Maelstrom gives the blade's team an attack and movement speed buff for 6 seconds, plus for the same duration gives the blade hard stagger immunity. This has a 30 second cooldown though. Next up is Headhunt, that's an unprotected hard CC that CCs for 3 seconds. Moonlight Sonic, hard stagger immunity, but very stationary, but also really high damage and high AoE. Spin Cutter doesn't really do anything outside of moving the death blade around, doesn't have any protection or CC. The prize attack, also unprotected, but a quick engage tool and leaves a lingering knockup behind. Death Sentence, short dash with one knockdown and one knockup. Heart stagger immune. Void strike completely unprotected and needs to be charged up. Don't let the blade get this off as it does do a lot of damage and knocks you multiple times. And last, Blitz Rush, unprotected ranged knockup. Well, now you know basically every viable ability. Let's talk about how to actually counter it. Blade's movement is quite limited, unlike that of a gunslinger or a lance master, for example. Keep track of Blade's only protected engage, which is Axel and respect that ability speed. Don't stand in the blade's engage range if you have no defensive dashes or abilities available. Secondly, most of blade super armors and big damage tools are stationary and not easily cancelable. Keep track of the blade's 7 second dash cooldown as this is required to interrupt their own abilities most of the time. Ranged hard CC is the best way to deal with blades, and the best way to counter those stationary abilities. Bard, Gunslinger, Deadeye, Demonic, Soulfish, Sorceress, Sharpshooter, and even Berserker have access to those ranged hard CCs. Third, especially blades damage abilities have pretty high cooldowns. Use these windows to counter pressure the blade while respecting its knockups. Don't blindly engage into super armors and expect to win the fight. Especially when you play mostly unprotected melee classes like War Dancer or Scrapper, you will just get absolutely rolled if you just blindly engage. Classes like Gunslinger and Deadeye will often outsustain blade cooldowns as well. Especially when the blade plays aggressively and doesn't really hit her abilities. Meaning, once the engage of the blade is over, you can actually punish really, really hard. And lastly, try not to stack on top of your teammates. Blade has quite the tool set to punish stacked up teams and can cleave 3 people at the same time when needed. When playing against Blade, focus on defensive and reactionary play rather than preemptive engages. Deathblade loves over aggressive players running into her super armors and her knockups. The lingering cyclone of sudden attack, for example, protected knockups of upper slash or pull star all shut down melee engages. 
Use your range, and if you don't have any ranged abilities, try to focus on the blade's teammates until she runs out of cooldowns. At the western release, blade will be a really strong class. Since a lot of her counter classes like destroyer and scouter and maybe reaper to an extent as well, aren't, aren't available on launch, right? So nonetheless, though, you can actually counter the class with a lot of different tools if you just play around it more. So my biggest tip again is like just don't judge, don't blindly engage onto your enemies without having a plan beforehand. I will probably regret uploading this video because I will play Blade. I will also play Demonic, but um, you guys will be able to counter me way easier with this information. And if you have any questions, obviously just shoot them in the comments below. Or if you want to ask a little bit more complex questions, maybe just go over to my Twitch channel and ask me there. I'm probably live while you're watching this video, especially if you're watching this after launch. If you found this video helpful, uh, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind after all. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it this far. And see you in the next one. Peace.